We love Gotham and you should too, and on Know Your Universe today we're going to be taking a closer look at the Order of St. Dumas. The Dumas, according to the show, were one of the five most powerful and prominent families in Gotham City, right next to big names such as the Elliots, the Canes, the Crowns, and of course the Waynes. But Caleb Dumas was forced to leave Gotham after a squabble with one of the Waynes turned violent. He would end up taking refuge with a religious sect founded by his family's patron saint, thus the name. Now, years later, Theo Galavan, real name Theo Dumas, returned to Gotham to take revenge on the Wayne family and rebuild the city in the image of the Order. Now, in the comics, the Sacred Order of St. Dumas was a splinter faction from the famous and real-world Knights Templar, a group of soldier monks that were formed during the Crusades originally to protect pilgrims journeying to the Holy Land and who grew quite powerful before being disbanded. Theo in the show says that he's descended from Swordmaker, so I guess in a weird way, they kept the whole Knight connection. The Order would retreat into the shadows and enlarge the organization's powers by killing their enemies and hoarding knowledge, kidnapping some of the greatest thinkers the world had to offer. The immortal Raish al Ghul famously once told a tale of adventuring with the original Saint Dumas, and he described him as, and I quote, a vicious and insane fanatic. Remember, this is Raish al Ghul talking. When Raish calls you an insane fanatic, you really must be an insane fanatic. Al Ghul would punish the Order by stealing one of their most powerful artifacts, the Suit of Soros. Perhaps the Order's most famous member was John Paul Valley, aka Azrael. You see, Azrael is the name given to the Order's greatest assassin and enforcer. The title of Azrael is actually a hereditary title, one that's passed down. John's father was actually the Azrael before him. It is the Azrael's mission to do the Church's bidding and cleanse the world of sin. FYI, the Order of St. Dumas has a very broad definition of sin. To keep Valley in line, the Order manipulated him through a series of complex mind-controlling techniques called the System. Eventually, Valley would turn on the Order and hunt them to near extinction, but much like the cockroaches they are, destroying the Order fully is never easy, as it always seems new splinter factions and even new Azrael spring up all the time. And that's your handy-dandy primer on the Order of St. Dumas. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you'll want to check out some of the other videos we have on offer here at the channel. Until next time, everyone everyone.